I'm about to race my Bolt EUV against my wife's Toyota Corolla, but not in the conventional way. I'm not going to see how fast they get to 60 miles an hour or how fast they do a quarter mile. I'm going to see how fast the cabins warm up on a really cold morning. It's well below zero here today, so it seems like a good day to see which one will make you warmer faster. We have a remote probe for the thermometer recording the temperature of the air coming out of the vent, which is this. There we go. The race between the heating systems on the Bolt EUV and the Corolla provided some interesting results. I learned some things uh, not related to just how quickly each car would heat up. One interesting thing was that you need to be careful about the use of the auto settings. So let's say I've got so my car, I'm preheating it, getting it really nice and toasty warm. What happens if I switch to auto? This is interesting. So I switch to auto. Then I lower the temperature that I want, because I've pre-warmed my car. The AC clicks on, big time. So be aware in auto mode, if you adjust your temperature, you could have your AC switching on, even in this kind of weather, which you don't really need or want. So you need to make sure that you turn off the auto mode before you turn the temperature down. There's been a lot of talk lately about EVs in the wintertime and range loss. If you pre-warm your vehicle while it's plugged in, at least on level two, you should not lose any range. Level one may be a slightly different story and that might be the subject of another video. Slight advantage for EVs because obviously with a gasoline powered car or a diesel powered car, you are using up the fuel that's in the tank while you're warming the vehicle. Uh, my wife's gonna be a little pissed at me because I just killed her MPG, which she keeps track of religiously. Something else I learned accidentally by making a mistake. When I ran the test the first time uh, on the Bolt, I did not change the climate settings to have the cabin air recirculated. So I was still drawing in outside air. And the difference in the temperature of the air coming out of the vents between having recirculated air and bringing in outside air was dramatic. As a class, my sense is that EVs come standard with the option to remote start it uh, with a key fob or an app, and they may have the ability to program it to be ready to go at a certain time. That seems to be an, an add-on to internal combustion engine vehicles. You can get it, but it's not a standard feature the way it is, or it seems to be, on most electric cars. It'd be really interesting to know from people who've owned EVs through winter months in really cold areas, do you notice a difference between the comfort level in the electric vehicle driving in the wintertime and internal combustion vehicles?